Heather and Eurus are a match made in cyber heaven. We just clucked together really quick. But the internet is crashing down on their wedding day. We shouldn't have ordered it online. I'm gonna cry. Can Jane get their plans back online? It's nice, but no. What a fiasco. Or is this web already too tangled? <sighs> That's not the face we want. Yeah. That is not the face. Heather and Eurus can thank the internet for their love connection. I was on a website, a dating website, deals with BBWs, which I'm really into. I saw a picture of her and thought, oh, wow. And then we met <laughs> up and sparks. We just clicked together really quick. It was good. Clicked. Cute. And they're so in love. She's a beautiful person outside and then when I see her, I just want to tell her how much I love her. He makes me feel beautiful. Is anyone else getting that warm, fuzzy feeling? I got on one knee and asked her to marry me. Yeah. Well done, Romeo. But there was a little hitch. She's showing me online this ring that uh, she was really interested in. I ordered the ring for her, so, so you got came it too in. Big. I think it was either size or two sizes too two. big. And we all know what happens to rings that are too big. I don't know where it is. It's not here. Can't find your engagement ring. What? Her engagement ring has uh, fallen off numerous times, just cleaning and doing things, because she's always wanted to wear it, and it has been lost quite a few times slipping off. Jeez. I know. Nope. Nope. There it is. With the ring finally found, Heather and Eurus decide it's time to get it resized. Oh, I don't know if I would spend the money on sizing this. Uh, I don't know if you know, but the stone is not real. It's a diamond L, but that is real. Real white gold? Yeah, it's what we call a fagazi. We don't normally ask you to give us more money than the ring is worth to change the size of the ring. I felt very humiliated when he saw the diamond L ring, and I had this big smile when I brought it in, and just his reaction kind of hit me pretty hard. Thanks. OK, you're quite welcome. Online shopping for these lovebirds hasn't stopped with engagement rings. With their wedding now just a week away, all of their online purchases are starting to arrive. How's that working out? Anything we've ordered online has just been awful. Awful as in the wedding bands you bought don't fit either? As soon as he tried it on, he's like, oh, babe, look. And the ring just fell right off his finger. It's like, oh. Definitely, I think that we went through too quickly in picking out the rings and not thinking it through. And Heather's mom is further proof that online shopping might be genetic. My involvement in the wedding is the decorations. So I ordered them over the internet. Surprise! They're not really those centerpieces, are they? The tower bases? Yes, yes they what? are. <laughs> My mom, she was great. I was so excited about actually having these centerpieces. Cool. Thanks, Mom. Oh, it's going to look so classy. Then the feathers came. Oh. Well, the picture I had were like these big, huge ones. Oh. Some of them are bigger, some of them are small. It will have to make do. This yeah. is what we ordered, and I can't afford to buy anything else. www. Uh oh. With every ring of that doorbell and with every package that's delivered, my expectations are lowering, and my worries and stresses have just been getting higher. I guess this is what we get when we order when stuff you order online. online. We'll settle, because what else are we going to do? Enter Jane Deus Hinch. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to try to get this wedding back online. I'm Jane. I'm Eurus. Eurus? Hi, Heather. Heather. And I've got your wedding SOS. Oh, I hate weddings. New experience. I've met a wedding hater. And it's the bride. I hate organ music. It drives me nuts. I don't like sitting through speeches. I don't like that cheesy wedding stuff. Quite cynical here on weddings, aren't we? Oh, a bride that says how she feels. OK. We arrive here, okay. and it's all going to be decorated. We'll talk to Mum about that. Why you, Mum? The day of the wedding, my mm -hmm. mom has to rush over here. She has to decorate. She's going to have her hair in rollers, half her lipstick on. It's going to be a stressful day for her. The mother of the bride is an important role at the wedding. 
It's not decorating the hall. We pretty much ordered everything from our wedding online. Why? There are just some things that you can't get on the internet. I'm going with the black and white theme for the wedding. And you were thinking this was going to Big, be... Big, beautiful. Ostrich feathers. Yes. For a black and white themed wedding? There's a lot of grey areas still in there, isn't there? Like, why is the pillow bigger than... But what did it look like online? It looks big and beautiful. <laughs> big and beautiful. Is everyone else picking up on that theme? I think I need to go and write a plan. This internet wedding needs intervention. And Jane is only too happy to intervene. Board was a lot of words. There was a lot to take in at first. Anything in red is urgent. Oh, God. <laughs> this is all physical stuff to do, which can't be done online. No. Lovely venue. It's so nice that there's three weddings on the same day. Does that ring alarm bells? Nah. Uh, well, I'm thinking the hall should be organized, but... Can you hear what you're saying? It's all if, ands, buts, and it's somebody else's responsibility. Rings. Hmm. We're just going to use what we have as props. Then won't it feel as though they're not really the, the really, really rings? We have no choice at this point. Oh, my brain hurts. You've got to go and get paperwork. The DJ's a huge part. The bridesmaids' dresses. Have you got the time to do all of this? There's just so much to do. I just, I don't think I'm going to enjoy the day. But to make you enjoy that day, I'm going to give you three wishes. Three? So have a think about it. Eliminate some of the red. Yeah, and there's a lot of red. <laughs> I don't know about you, baby, but I'm freaking out. You got to help me, baby. Get yeah. these things done. OK? Uh, maybe I'd get a room to your list. OK. With just six days to go, Heather and Yura start to tackle their to-do list. But Heather can't seem to shake their supersized ring issues. We're going to have these rings, and they're just, they're not going to be the rings we're going to wear for the rest of our life. I can't stop thinking about it. Calling Jane. I think this is a wish. Yeah, yeah. It's a good idea, baby. Hello? Hi, Jane. I think we have a wish. It's a ring wish. OK. Leave it with me. Can't even have a coffee in peace. You might want to make it an espresso, Jane, because the bridesmaids' dresses have arrived from overseas, and there are big problems. Oh, my God. God. So they're not even the same? Like, no. <laughs> Why would they put a hoop on the other one? Why would someone use red stitching to make a black dress? This is way too short. They're going to look like tramps. Oh, my God. What did I do? The dresses are another way the internet has let us down. Absolutely. Like, look at them. They're garbage. You know, once it's paid for and it's delivered, you have, you were stuck with these now. Ugh. When I first saw the dresses of the boxes, I just, I knew right away they're going to be a disaster. And then the girls tried them on, and then it just got worse from there. There's no way that could be fixed. Oh, either. what is that? Oh, yeah. my god. Oh, and you can almost see her underwear. <sighs> yeah, well, that's oh an understatement. <laughs> I always thought it was longer and it was like a different material. Like this isn't it flowed more. It yeah, like, it flowed, like, like it silky. I don't know. Picture, you know? Yeah. We shouldn't have ordered it online. I'm gonna cry. I'm sorry that we ordered these online. Like this is horrible. I feel bad for the girls because they're just not gonna look beautiful in those dresses. You know, she wanted beautiful, elegant, and this unfortunately is far from it. This is not what I dreamed. Thanks to a camera phone, Jane can see firsthand just how big this wish is going to be. What is this, Heather? Oh, my goodness me. What are those? That is a dress SOS. I really hope Jane can pull through on this wish. Come on, it's Jane. It's no problem. You don't have anything in black and white? That's not a great start. You're telling me that it's not possible for next Saturday? Uh-oh. You don't stock plus sizes? Oh, OK. Thank you. This isn't going well. It could end up that I'll be making these dresses myself. Is that in the fairy godmother contract? Our lawyers say that it is. So Jane switches gears to focus on wish number one, the rings. Hey, Rami. Jane! <laughs> Oh, I've got an emergency. Oh, no. I've got a couple who are getting married and they've been and bought their wedding rings. They're miles too big. Oh. They can't have them resized because of the design. So, of course, I thought of you. How much time do you have? How much time do we have? Yeah. None. Oh. 
Wow. That's the problem. We will do our very best. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You found us? Yeah. Come on in. The reason I brought you here is because I wanted you to make Robin. I knew I could count on Robin to make this wish come true. What I do is design wedding bands. I also do classes. Maybe you would like to design your Ooh, own bands. Okay. Is this your engagement yes. ring? OK, we can fix that. Let the workshop begin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As with everything, size matters. So let's just make sure we get the right size. Yeah. That's a good, good plan. <laughs> These rings will fit us. They're made, <laughs> That's... made for us. We were actually able to pick exactly the way we want it to look, even special designs and things. How special is that, to go make your own wedding rings? Yeah, is you confident doing this? Uh, yeah, sure. A uh, good idea. Give the guy who's low on confidence an open flame. Look at that. Keep the neck caught. Pull your torch back. There you go. Awesome. Who knew a blowtorch could be that much fun? <laughs> now it's Heather's turn to be Lord of the Rings. I love my hair. All right, we're going yeah. in. You definitely learned yeah. the process of making a ring, which is an art. It was, a, it was great. Good, good, babe. Really, really gently, because you don't want to take off too much, just the bumps. Well, you guys have done all the hard work, so I'm just going to give them a little polish and they'll be ready for you for oh, the wedding. Fantastic. Can't wait to see the final results. And it means a lot that we actually have rings that we love now. Hey, it's been a couple of minutes since you guys kissed. Ah, thank you. The next day and millions of kisses later, Jane brings the girls together for Wish 2, dress shopping in an actual store with real people and no computers. It's a small boutique, but big on service. Do you have an idea what you're looking for? Hoping to find dresses that are not the typical bridesmaid looking dresses. Mm -hmm. Oh, she doesn't like weddings, actually. Oh, you don't? <laughs> Brides are very hard to please, so I'm just crossing my fingers that she's going to find one dress that she likes for the girls. Get ready, here it comes. Walk the catwalk, strut your stuff. The classic shopping montage. I like a little more of a flowy dress. Next, what do you think? This again? looks very bridesmaid's dress. Yeah. No. No. Another no, one. Try another one. I don't feel that one. Yeah. It's not giving me that wow. But wait for it. Ping. Wow. Ooh, Fantastic. Geez. Wrap it up. We'll okay. take three, please. <laughs> yeah. You know how these shows work. The dress reveal will happen later. First, a trip to the spa where the girls will get a little pampering. I can't wait to see us all done up with our makeup and our hair. And I'm going to cry. I brought the waterproof mascara. <laughs> so where's your mom? I thought she was going to be here. She's uh, actually out with yours right now getting last minute decorations. Oh, that sucks. We should call them see how they're doing. Find out, yeah. Hey, babe. How you guys doing? I'm not so great. Yeah, she's not really finding uh, things that uh, she's looking for. She doesn't look too happy. Tell mom I love her. OK. Love you. Bye. Feeling pretty guilty about my mom shopping right now and getting all the last minute decoration stuff done. Guilty enough to leave the spa? Didn't think so. But don't worry. I'm sure your mom and Eurus are having a ball trying to replace all those horrible internet decorations. <sighs> I really had a vision, but it's definitely not coming to life in here. Kind of tacky. Kind of tacky? I took it upon myself to do all the decorations. I'm going, how the heck am I going to get to the hall and decorate it all and come back, go to the hairdresser, get ready before the wedding? Is Eurus calling the spa to blow kisses to Heather over the phone? Uh. Nope. This time, he's thinking about his soon-to-be mother-in-law. Excuse me, just a moment. Hello? Hi, Jane. Uh, I think that uh, we can use your help with uh, the decorations. What a great guy to call that wish in. Good husband material. Indeed. But the decoration wish will have to be put on hold, because with just one day left before the wedding, Jane has to make a very special delivery. I bet you're wondering why I brought you here. We are, yeah. I thought this would be a great place to bring the rings. Made with love. That's what you made. Yeah, look how great they look together. Is it wish granted? Oh, oh wish definitely, granted. yes. Thank <laughs> you so much. I'm hoping that these are the rings to set you on your way, ready for your new lives together. Heather, 
You are my rock. I love you. I would love for you to be my wife. Of course I'm gonna be your wife, baby. I love you. They just like the kissing bit. So it was really special because we got to relive our engagement with a ring that fit this time. This wish has changed their whole perspective of how their wedding is going to be tomorrow. Now it's what they want. We've got the rehearsal to do now. Shall we go meet everybody? Because I think they'll be waiting for yes. us. Yeah. Hey, why not one more kiss for the road? <sighs> so it's over to the chapel where Jane finally gets a chance to chat with Mum about the decorations. How's my bride? Oh, yeah, crazy, panicked. Stress. Yes. I can feel the stress from here. No, no, it's all here. from here, the yeah. stress. Well, tonight I was going to assemble all the bows for the chair. So yeah, then I've got I the know. head tables to decorate, and I was going to make all these flowers and set them all up tonight, sew them up. There's a lot of oh. things to do, so I'd rather okay, they're, go they're to doing the. Something uh, wrong. I'm going to be back. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> well, this so, is the night before the wedding, and yes. I, I know exactly how you're feeling with the amount of work you've got to do tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And actually, I've got a plan. Let me tell you all about it. You had to know that Jane had a plan for the decorations all along. It's how she rolls. The next day is the big day, and the bride's house is bustling. I'm enjoying this whole moment. I, otherwise, I wouldn't have been here this morning to see all the, all the running around, the makeup being done, the hair and everything. I would have missed all this, and now I'm here. And the bride's doing really well, actually. She's very relaxed, and we're not letting her do anything. So <laughs> um, I think she's doing really, really well. Getting right into the day's black and white theme, Jane stops by to check on the bride. Where is that I black and white? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, How are you feeling? Good, good. good. Cheers to all of us being together, happy, healthy, stress-free, and smiling. We're glad you're here, Mama. Thank We're you. Glad you're here, Mama. Thank you, Jane. I'm very uh, proud to be your mother, because you're a wonderful daughter. And I'm so happy for you. And you chose the best man that you could ever have chosen. And uh, you'll be happy the rest of your life, just like your dad and I. We have 35 years together, and I'm sure you will be getting more than that. So uh, congratulations, and I love you so much. If mm. it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here today. <laughs> so, thanks, Mommy. Thank you. Girls, are you ready? And here it is, the reveal of the bridesmaids' dresses. Da, da, da. Oh, Don't they look gorgeous? Oh. You guys look like goddesses in these dresses. Oh. You guys look stunning. Thank, Thank you. you. Wish granted. Wish granted. <laughs> and so say all of us. <laughs> <laughs> It's the pedal to the metal for Jane, who still has a lot of work to do, including putting the finishing touches on the decorations. This is the most wonderful creation. Heather's feathers were this big. Um, no, these are feathers, yeah? Do you know how long it takes to do chair bows? Allow at least four hours. Sounds like fun. Almost as much fun as telling guests at a wedding that so far, the bride is a no-show. Please bear with us. Heather is on her way. Did everybody have traffic? Yes. yes. I guess no one checked the internet for a traffic update. There is another wedding straight afterwards. So we had strict instructions to start on time. Worst case scenario, the bride is late. Um, maybe don't count on that being the worst case scenario. I have a slight problem, Jane. We, uh, I accidentally forgot the license back at uh, my best man's place. I have one of my groomsmen going out to get it, but whereabouts he is, I'm not sure. So now I've got no bride and no license. I'm stressing. This is your stress look? Do you want to see my stress look? Yuris forgot the wedding license. Anybody do fake licenses? Okay, it's quarter after three. The wedding was supposed to be at three. Heather's not here yet. We've had brides that have been late. Heather takes the biscuit. Cake. There's another wedding after ours, so I guess we'll be having a double wedding ceremony. Hold that thought, Mum. The bride has finally arrived. Yay! We have a bride. The bride. Hello! I'm so upset that I'm late. Eurus is fine. Priest's fine. Like the next wedding. Heather went from zero stress to mega stress. That's not the face we want. Yeah. That is not the face. OK, let's get this done. We can't Smile. hold this anymore. Smile. Get there. OK, Dad, put me on the Don't look at your watches. It's 3 o'clock when the bride arrives here, OK? <laughs> when Heather walked down the aisle, 
Eurus' face was a picture. So the bride is here, the groom is here, the license? Uh, nope. Do you promise to forsake all others and to remain faithful as long as you both shall live? I do. I do, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the bride and groom has presented me with two rings. Rings are for a lifetime, made with love. With this ring, I give to you as a token of my love. As it encircles your finger for eternity. Putting them on each other's fingers. It was the greatest feeling that I've ever had that they weren't props. They're the rings that we're going to wear forever. That have been your wedding ring. It now gives me great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Do you know what to do now? Ah, oh, yeah, he knows what to do now. It's all so beautiful, but it's still not official. You need a license for that. I'm going to ask us to go to the signing table right now, please. That was close. Joe the groomsman arrives just in time to make this thing legal. Ladies and gentlemen, the marriage certificate. <laughs> Would you like to meet the hero of the day? I didn't want the bride to kill me, so I made sure I got here. What an entrance. Okay. Thank you. Save the day. Thank you. Legally married now, it's time to check out the wedding hall. Hello, Heather and Eurus. Look at that. Oh, my God. That table looks spectacular. This is more than what I imagined or pictured. It's Amen. perfect. I think out of all three wishes, in the end, the best was saving my mom from doing everything today. I never could have achieved what you've done. Never. <sighs> we this is done a dream better. come true. Oh, you're not crying. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Absolutely breathless. I got a clap. I, I don't think I've ever <laughs> yes. made a man cry. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> say this is the best wedding I've ever been to. When Jane came along, I was ready to just settle. She just made my wedding my dream. I have no worries about Heather and Eurus making it through to celebrate 25 years. They've got a rock solid foundation. Do you know, I don't think I've ever seen a couple kiss so much. Laura and David met at work, but their wedding plans are not working. Don't just tell me what you think I want to hear, be honest. She's a procrastinator, and he's even worse. I just don't want to deal with it. And don't even get us started on the best man. Girls would be nice. Girls, girls, girls. Can Jane get this wedding party motivated? That's a big one. Why is that upset you? I really want him to be part of the day. Can't wait for it to be over. Where's the couple? I have guests and no couple. We met working together. He came down to fix my computer. He asked me for coffee, and then coffee led to lunch, and then lunch led to dinner, and then dinner to now. And I accidentally said I love you on our first date. You did what? And I accidentally said I love you on our first date, which was a huge mistake. With their wedding just 10 days away, it's become apparent that Laura and David are living in a procrastination. I think we procrastinate because we can get away with it. Conflicting work schedules mean that this passive pair aren't even talking about what needs to be done. Because I'm an event planner, I plan events all day. So when I come home, I'm really not in the mood to keep planning events. Do you have a suggestion? Nope. If he has to make a final decision, that's just impossible. I would like... Yeah, fill in the blank. It's the blank part that I don't ever get. You know how the room kind of goes like this? I have to do the head table at the back wall. Is that I don't feel well. As soon as I tell him something, he'll just get stressed. And then once he's stressed, I don't want to worry about it. I think yeah. you really haven't had to do much the whole time. No, not at all. More than enough. Me. You're lucky. No, you're lucky. He's going to keep me young or make me really, really old before my time. Well, surely the best man can get things on track. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, boy. I was a little worried when he picked him as the best man. I don't think I trust his abilities to plan wedding. <laughs> 
I didn't know it was a job title, really. Uh, come on. Nothing. Enter Jane Deus Hinch. Our wedding planner slash fairy godmother will grant three wishes to try to put the do back in this lazy couple's to-do list. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, how are you? Great, great are we going indoors? Why are we here? Well, the ceremony will be happening here. Why did you choose here? Well, we met in that big black building back there, so we thought, how lovely to have that in the background for when we get married. I hate <laughs> wind. I can't bear this. Helicopters and planes are coming in to land at the airport, which is just there. Obviously, it's going to be very noisy. Yes. This isn't working for me. And when things aren't working for Jane, she's always got a... Plan B. No wind. <laughs> Cards on the tables now, guys. No more time for procrastination. There's no putting it off any longer, for Jane at least. Time for decisions. You need to know what's going to be picked up, who's doing what. Hair and makeup, you need to go and book it. Right. Parking, transportation, and a photo list. There's a lot. When is your deadline date that you have to have all your final numbers? Last Friday. <laughs> I feel a little frantic, maybe a little um, unnerved, I guess. If you were going to a wedding at 3.30, what time would you arrive? Us, 3.45. Ooh. Uh, welcome to Laura and David time. <laughs> You're going to be late on the day? I would like to think we'd be on time, but I'm just going by history. Are you having a receiving line? I prefer not to. I, I just wanted to have one. Did you? A receiving line, yeah. You because never said how, how is anyone, how is any of your family ever going to meet my I mother? I hate receiving lines. Have you chosen your first dance? We'd see these weddings where this couple would come out, and it looks like they're going to do a very traditional slow first dance, and they, yeah. they whip out this crazy fast dance, and they do something to entertain them. I just wanted a simple first dance. Who are you? What are you talking about? I could have swore you said you were totally down for this. But sure, sure, you asked me, would you be into it? Sure. Yeah. I'm support you, whatever excited. you want to do. I wasn't. Well, this is why I'm confused. Don't just tell me what you think I want to hear. Be honest. Having him just be brutally honest about what he wanted was just an eye opener for me. I didn't know. I thought he really wanted to do it. <laughs> okay. Totally did. No, I'm okay with that. I'll just take some time. I asked my brother to stand to up for me. To be a bridesmaid. I she wanted him to represent me. I wanted him, he's my brother, and yeah. we've always been close. So I asked him to be in my bridal party. So I didn't see anything wrong with it. He's an odd person out. He's not walking with a guy or a girl. That and was, I, just, I didn't like that either, but I didn't know how else to fix it. Why can't he walk your mother down the aisle, take her to a seat, and then... Why is that upsetting you? That's hit a nerve. Now tell me the nerve. My brother means a lot to me, so I really want him to be part of the days. But he was going to be a part of the day. You started this. We can build in lots of things that he could do and make a special part. No problem at all. I pictured looking over and seeing him there standing beside me. You misunderstood what Jane no, said. No, I, I understood completely what she said, that he's still a part of it. He's still, I'm not sure. It's the walking part, so he's not walking I alone. I heard her, I know. Don't worry, I heard her, I understand. I'm going to grant you three wishes. You desperately okay. need one, <laughs> and I think I'm going to give you, you need to. A couple balls might have been dropped if she didn't come along and just kind of put it in black and white for us to see. They don't spend enough time with each other, so when they do eventually get together, they just want happy times. They don't want to fall out. They don't want to butt heads. Need to now, though. Even after a chat with Jane, it looks like things are status quo when it comes to communicating. What about the first dance? Can you have something in mind? Thanks. Maybe the best man can help out. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, boy. But Laura takes her chances anyway. I figure the plans are going for this day. I, mean, I don't have anything set up yet. I'm super busy, right? So... <laughs> Basically, you just need the place, the transportation. You just got to call everybody. And I guess kind of like what you're doing for the night. Should be all right? Yeah. We'll make out all right. It's a rite of passage for David. I, it's something that every groom should be allowed to have, a stag. And it's something that Laura's going to make sure happens. So guess who she's calling? Hi, Laura. He's having a hard time finding a location for the stag. 
Keep it with me. In the meantime, Jane sets up a meeting for the next day with Laura and David at a dance studio. I really need to see what you've got. Are you kidding? Lights. Impress me. She said impress her, not do your impression of a bad high school dance. Is this it? <laughs> There's dancing and this shuffling your feet in a circle. What was that? So Jane thinks you can't dance, and she's called in someone who can. You've really got your work cut out with this couple. OK. I need them to have a really good routine for their first dance, but you've just got today to teach them. One day. One day. One shot. OK. They're good, right? No. Neither of them can make their minds up about anything. So by the time they'd make up their mind, it'd be too late. I just wanted a simple first dance, like the song. She's just... Who are song. you? So I had to call this wish. the hookup. Just step right and put your right hand up. Then you step left, put your left hand up. Then you're going to clap, bring your feet and hands together. So I can do hip hop in heels. They should be able to pop and lock. No problem. One and two point three turns four. I can dance hip hop. I can do this on a Saturday night. Yeah, sing clubbing. Now I've got the bounces. I'm good. Go, Jane. Go, Jane. Whoops. Ooh, wrong way. At the wedding reception, I don't think there's a mirror and Minerva. What's going to make it work? Practice, practice, practice. From here on, we just need to practice. David's nerves are getting to him. Blech. While he cleans up, Jane tracks down the best man, Cousin Gabe. Hi, you must be Gabe. How are you? I'm Jane. How are you doing? I'm good. I found Gabe exactly where Laura said he would be, in a certain bar playing pool. Come, I got something for you, because I thought you might have shown up. Wow, red roses. He's quite the gentleman. Oh, Is he coming here to save my life or what? You think? You I hope? hope. <laughs> I hope. I need it. Well, that's very kind of you. Very thoughtful. Thank you. Have you got a spare cue? I'll play you. <laughs> oh, no way. Jane's super cool. Yeah, she, I like Jane. Jane's awesome. So give me some ideas of what you're thinking of for this stag. Um... Well, do you want a meal? Do you want entertainment? Uh... Looks like Jane has this slacker a little tongue-tied. Uh... <laughs> well, we're going to do something more than this. The wedding is next week. <laughs> Don't remind me. I know. I'm such a procrastinator. Uh, so that runs in the family. No comment? You're the best man. Yes. Not the best man for the job, but I'm the best man. Laura's asked me for the wish to help you with this stag night. What's the idea? So I don't want this stag to be just an ordinary day, right? Like what? Girls. 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 Girls, Girls yeah. would be nice, yeah. And am I coming on this stag night? Yes, most definitely. OK, well, there's a first. Gabe's heart's in the right place. His organizational skills just need um, tweaking. Breezy, this is a great place. The guys are going to love this. I'm so happy you like it. Uh, I really need to deliver something really good for this wish. Where do I start? Um, you need to get an expert. We have some lovely ladies uh, for you. Ladies. This is the headlights. Chastie uh, Larue, she is an expert on the dance. And the Maria Juana is an expert on the booty shape. And the Indica Airy. Lovely. Petra Chocolat. Fantastic. So these are the girls that are going to be doing the entertaining. They will be entertained for sure. But nothing embarrassing. Don't worry, Jane. Embarrassing dancing is already taken care of. Then kick. Oh, it's no. forward, back, 
then forward, then it's the pose. Pose. Then it's, then it's the foot. walk forward. Yeah. Two. This is our animation. Three. Uh, how many more hours do we have? 48. Okay. We're good. Yeah, that's plenty of time. Deal with it later, because right now, Jane is looking for an update, and do it later is not in her vocabulary. Final numbers. Did you get your final numbers? When are you going to get that done, then? Today. I think so. There's nothing in for Master of Ceremonies. We didn't really discuss it. Uh-huh. What are we thinking? Don't look at me. Usually when I suggest something, she doesn't like it anyway, so... All right, then I'll just decide. No. I need a drink. Have you got a family member? Anybody that's got a personality that's out there that would pick up a microphone and make announcements for you? I think it was just something that um, I didn't put a lot of thought into at all. I just figured the DJ could do it. That's a big one. What do you want help with? Master of Ceremonies. Good wish. There's one more thing for Jane's to-do list, but before she can do that, she's got a stag to throw. Yeah. Wow. Stretch hunger, wow. baby. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Jane's got in store. Congratulations, David. Congratulations, Dave. baby. David's marrying my daughter, and uh, I don't know, man. This yeah. is uh, <laughs> That's this your gonna problem. be a great, uh, great treat having David around. No doubt about that. Well, hello, boys. I was not expecting that. That was a shock for sure. She looked really good. Lady <laughs> <laughs> Jane has arrived. Look at that. Hello. <laughs> she just looks sexy. Yeah, she looked good. Come with me. We're going to have a stag party that's going to be naughty, but nice. Don't do rude. Let the show begin. I'm really glad I did have a stag. I was very disappointed Jane didn't take a close-up. She was slamming. <laughs> That's enough fun for one night. <laughs> this is all your fault that I'm in this. Is it? Yes. I'm glad it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> she worked her magic. She, she took care of us. We had a good night. Is this wish granted? Definitely. Definitely. Thank, you. Thank you so much. Mwah. My pleasure. I'm going out with the boys. <laughs> The next morning, Laura talks to David's family to try to get to the bottom of his occasional sickness. I think he's really nervous. Most of these sick. Yes. It's yeah, yeah. No, it no. is. He always gets sick when he's nervous. Oh, yeah. Poor thing. I feel so bad, but didn't he kind of go, are you nervous because you're scared that I'm going to be your wife one day, or just like the whole thing? <laughs> well, as long as he shows up, I'm fine. Even if you go up and say no, just at least show up and say no. I don't think David's going to do that. <laughs> I hope not. Nice hog. After a night of dancing, Jane decides to check in on David and his two left feet. I'm really worried about this first dance. Have you been practicing? Not too much. And I don't want any embarrassment. That's my worry. OK. So how's everything else going with the wedding? Just about done everything, but I just wanted to do something for Laura. What are you thinking? I'm not sure. Well, jewelry usually does it for <laughs> me. We'll be sure to let Gabe know. <laughs> you want some help with this, don't you? Please. I need to know that you are going to be practicing your moves. Definitely. One, two, three, four. Oh, don't tell me you're stuck. You're going to practice, and I'll go and organize girls at the spa. It's a favor. It's not a wish. I love that David wanted to do a favor for Laura, go to the spa, because she asked for a wish for him. Isn't he a great guy? With time running out, even a trip to the spa is work for Jane. She still needs to find the perfect MC for the wedding, and she apparently needs to brush up on her Portuguese. Dame um beige, just give me a kiss. So if I walk around all night going, dame um beige? Yeah, <laughs> Portuguese guys will be you all over. <laughs> I've got my head full of this wish about the MC. I would love to be the MC at this wedding, but now, after meeting all the ladies, I know just the person for that role. 
Laura and David like to take their sweet time. I just don't want to deal with it. Even when it comes to their wedding. Do you have a suggestion? Nope. What about the first dance? Didn't we have something in mind? Thanks. Jane wasted no time in granting three wishes to get them back on track. For wish one, she delivered a stag night to remember. Is this wish granted? Definitely. Definitely. I'm really glad I did have a stag. Jane did a great job. She was awesome. For wish two, she helped them get a little more comfortable on the dance floor. She hooked us up. Jane has the hookup. And for wish three, the couple asked for help in finding the perfect master of ceremonies. Have you got a family member? Anybody that's got a personality that's out there that would pick up a microphone and make announcements for you? That's a big one. Mm -hmm. But like always, Laura and David are late. And this time, it's for their own wedding. I have guests and no couple. They procrastinated about everything, but I thought today, of all days, they wouldn't be late. You'd like to make your way in? Thank you. A coat check? Any more coats? I could, I could be a coat. Coat check? There's only one word. It's called late. The bride and groom stay true to Laura and David time right until the end. But hey, at least by arriving together, it means they're both here. Take your time. You're only an hour late. Another stop? This one better involve jewelry. Aw, that's adorable. I love it. Thank you very much. It's beautiful. Oh, here's the bride. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. You're looking gorgeous. Thank you. I know, Jane. I'm so sorry. It's not polite to keep your guests waiting an hour. Oh, it says 10 past 3. <laughs> oh, that and it is actually 10 past, 10 past 4. My watch was an hour off, but regardless, I knew what time it was. I had my cell phone. <laughs> Does he think that helps the situation? Can I do this better? You can do it better. <laughs> you know that. It all came together, and when Laura's brother walked their mother down the aisle, Laura was so thrilled. It was really nice. We are gathered here today as witnesses to the marriage of Laura and David. I, David, take you, Laura, to be my wife. I, Laura, take you, David, to be my husband. To have and to hold. For better, for worse. From this day forward. From this day forward. When they did their vows, forget any procrastination, that was it. There was total commitment. Beautiful. I do now pronounce you husband and wife. Time for some rooftop photos. Remember when they thought they'd get married up here? I hate women. <laughs> This isn't working for me. Good call, Jane. That's Jane, always right. Just do what she says. No to all future <laughs> bride and grooms. Do not doubt this woman. Christina. Hi, Jane. How are you? And Jane was also right when it came to wish three. David is Portuguese, and when I heard his mother speaking Portuguese, I just knew the perfect person to come and MC this wedding. You're going to save the day, so let's go and get you ready. <laughs> Please welcome, juntem se a minha, dar as boas-vindas, the bride and groom, Mr. and Mrs. David and Laura de Rochelle. She did a great job. We weren't sure what to expect, but it uh, went very, very well. So welcome to your own wedding. I'm honored to stand here today as your best man. You've been like a big brother to me. I don't think there's anyone besides my mom that cares for my well-being like you. I love you. I wish you the best, you and your new wife. <clears throat> Sorry. You know, I was speaking from the heart, so it touched them, I'm sure. For their first dance together, the new Mr. and Mrs. David and Laura de Rocha. They rehearse that. They practice that. I think we'll just keep doing it. We're going to yeah. have to go to clubs and request that song. She absolutely was a fairy godmother. I think she might turn into a pumpkin at midnight. 
Oh, Jean, she worked her magic. You know her, she did it. Now it's time for Gabe to work his. Gabriel has been a sweetheart. He's tried to sweep me off my feet. I'm feeling real good, I'm feeling great, real happy. We need Jane every day. <laughs> we need Jane to plan a picnic. We need Jane to <laughs> help us with our grocery list. We need just pocket-sized Jane. That's what they need to make. Jerry and JC are bringing two cultures together for one giant wedding. We have about 300 people coming. Their communication skills are interesting. You can tell yeah, hey, hey, don't, don't yeah. get involved you in and your this stuff. Stuff. We're not fighting. <laughs> this is just how we talk. And they definitely <laughs> lack direction. Oh. Not all that. We're not having a magician. We're not having a face painter. Can Jane focus these big kids at heart? What have you been doing? Or will things balloon out of control? Don't rip it. Oh, God. Ugh. For Jerry and JC, it's not their cultures that are clashing. My background's Filipino, and his background is, he's from Trinidad. Our first date, it, it was exciting, man, because, uh, you know, we got to, to, to feel each other out, and... Uh, it doesn't sound was... good. Jerry's heart is really in the right place. Some people may not see it. They just see his aggressiveness. She can be aggressive, uh, very, very direct. But at the same time, she also has a weakness, uh, like a childlike quality. He's really a child at heart. Aggressive adults acting like children? Nah, this should be fun. At our wedding, we want to incorporate the Filipino culture and the Trinidadian culture. It's kind of... Give and take. OK, so I'm going to hand these out. What do you think? I wasted my time packing it all up so that you can go and steal my thunder? Let me do what I got to do. Why can't you be like a normal group? Like, I am a normal group. No, I'm doing what I got to do. Hey, hey, don't don't yeah. get involved you in You and your sister stuff. go do what you no. got to do. Our so. communication style is loud, <laughs> argumentative, <laughs> tiring. Why you always got to control everything? Relax. What do you mean telling me to relax? I don't tell me to relax. No, don't break it. It's like we're in a tug of war. You know, she's getting the better. There's sometimes where I'm getting the better. This is stuff that you were supposed to have taken care of weeks ago. You're telling me about I can do it? We're not fighting. <laughs> this is just how we talk. Yeah. We're not fighting. I'm leaving. Good, go long. Not fighting. OK, we'll remember that. We have about 300 people coming to the wedding. His family is small, whereas my family is really big. JC's family is very close-knit. She can invite people from Guam. They're going to show up. What if I have family in Guam? <laughs> you do, don't you? Hey, what's going on, man? So welcome to the neighborhood, guy. Yeah? Yeah. Jerry keeps adding people to the guest list. I'm getting married in a couple of weeks. I was going to ask if you want to come to the wedding. Love you be interested? Yes, hey, man. man. All right. Great. Well, that's Thanks cool. So much, Thanks, man. <laughs> I'll see you then. How many times have I told you? What are you talking about? It's one guy. I know, but do, you, do I know him? You can't just invite one person every week. At least tell me before you invite them. 80% of the people that are coming to the wedding are there just for you. I'm going to invite everybody on the but, street. But like, you don't talk to them close. I do. Remember, that's not fighting. We need guidance. We need somebody to steer us in we the We need right direction. direction. Enter Jane Deus Hinch, our wedding planner slash fairy godmother, who will grant three wishes and try to put some direction back into these totally lost wedding plans. Jerry? Jerry? JC? And is this the SOS? Probably part, part of, of it. The SOS. <laughs> We're assured that this is all going to be finished for the time of the wedding. So are we now in a panic mode? Is this why we rang? Somewhat. Panic, yes. <laughs> Somewhat, yes. Stress. Panic. We need help with everything. The lighting, the videographer, the, the transportation. And then it's like the no, money we had not... dedicated for that, we had no, to give to that. Not... Or I... something went wrong with the truck. I've had to do the brakes. I've got to do the okay. exhaust. One of her cousins had twins. No, OK, and... anyways. Oh, oh I only used it as an example. Oh. Who's doing all the talking here? Is he a bit of a groom sailor? <sighs> yeah, oh. a bit. <laughs> um, you said that you've got a problem with transportation. For the size of our, our wedding party, we wanted something a little more unique. So um, I went and decided public transit. I think they'll be um, hitchhiking to their wedding. So how many people are at this wedding? 290 to 300. It's a big wedding. Why wouldn't you book a wedding planner? I just thought with my big family, we could do it all together. And can you? No. no. Let's sort of try and put this into some sort of order. So shall we go and put a plan together? Sure. Sure. To Jerry and JC, plan is a four letter word. This is the initial plan, but I'm gonna talk you through each point. The speeches, how long are they going to be? I don't know, <laughs> I've never thought of that. What are we doing for five and a half hours? We don't know. Is there a car waiting for you outside? I don't know. We never thought about, about that. that. Is this wedding going to happen? I don't know. 
And we still haven't mentioned dress. You've still got final fittings. I wanted to hold off as long as I could so I can have it's more time. It's 10 days. How much weight are you going to lose in 10 days? I'm a workout guru, so I've been, I've been on her. Just go for the spandex and put the dress on. <laughs> it saves all of that. Thank you. I'm too busy to work out. So. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I haven't even started on 300 people and where they're all sitting. I would be starting it now. They may be vague about a lot of things. The one thing I'm sure of, they need my help. They need my help so much. <sighs> I can give you three wishes. Now, I think you need to talk. Maybe Jerry, not so much. <laughs> so the three wishes here are critical. The board helped. It itemized what we needed to do. Put things into perspective. Yeah. What we needed to do and when we needed to do it by basically now. For Jerry, now apparently means after he tinkers with his car. Babe? Yeah? So I called the limo uh, and it's ridiculous prices. Babe, limos are boring. Everybody does the Lincoln or they do the, they do the Caddy. My main concern about transportation is I want everybody to fit into something. What do you think of a school bus? I'm not going to my wedding in a school bus. I don't want to be reminded of of my old school days while I'm on a bus going to my wedding. I'm sick and tired of this. I keep thinking of ideas, you always shoot them down. I've run out of ideas. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go. Jay, let me concentrate on this vehicle right now before I go looking at anything else for the wedding, OK? <sighs> Whatever. Out from underneath the car, the couple is now buried in RSVPs. And it looks like they're going to need a lot of booster seats. How many kids are we inviting the wedding? I think you can count. Look at that. I'm not even halfway through this, and we're already at 20 kids. What do you want me to do? I invite them? I cannot invite them. I'll go and tell them all right now. No. Sorry, you ain't bringing your kids. Jerry, there's nothing else we can do. We have to just think of something. We better had, because believe me, you don't want me talking to your family, all right? Jerry, don't even say that. Hey, listen. Jerry, we'll figure something out. Hey, cool. We'll figure something out. Deal? We have a lot of kids coming to the wedding, and we don't know what to do with them. With just six days left and an army of kids expected on the big day, they decide to hold auditions for entertainers. Hi, guys. Jane shows up just in time to see the guy with the snakes. Neither of these are dangerous at all, though. No, of course not. You know, guys, I think that this is a great idea for your wedding. Yeah, that just screams wedding, doesn't it? It's a wonderful way to keep the kids' attention away from festivities going on and keep them occupied. You got me sold. You got to convince her. Huh. How do you convince a bride? Maybe a big, gross, nasty spider? Oh! Well, I here, don't know which... Why don't yeah, I... I think... Yeah. The fangs are so cool. They're like half an inch Who each. has fangs? The tarantula. <laughs> no offense, Real but... pleasure. I don't <laughs> think we'll be having him. Uh, plan B? But like a clown or something there, you know? To keep We're not busy. having a clown yeah, at our yeah, wedding. As soon as I mentioned that to her, she, she looked at me like I was... We're not having crack. a clown at our wedding. Yeah. Hi, I'd like uh, to do a little magic show for you. I like, would like a volunteer, please. Jane? Oh, thank you. Hold on to the back. One, two, three, blow. <sighs> no, no, give me the orange handkerchief back. Thanks. Well, <laughs> you didn't watch because it's in the balloon, you see. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. OK, so what else have you got lined up? Binky the face painter. Baby, we need to get a set of this for the wedding night. <laughs> Jerry, I think you're in birthday mode, not in wedding mode. Uh, either way, it's a party, isn't it? Mm, totally yes, different. So <laughs> and here comes Mr. Dodger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It that was, was a pleasure. That was a trip. What did you think? I loved them all. I didn't like any of them. I think these auditions push this couple over the edge. If we have the animals up front, mm -hmm. while, the, while the magician is going on, while the face painting is going on. We're not having a magician. We're not having a face painter. No. no. Jay, none of these work for us, for me, and we've run out of time. If we could have this as a wish, it would help us out greatly. Now I know what they don't want, I can work on what they will want. And what they will want is more help. You got a couple more of these for the wedding? Into cars? Oh, in a big way. He got no idea. I've got my truck, and it's giving me a ton of trouble with the water pump and stuff I don't now. Think so. She cares. Nope. None of us do. <laughs> Jane, would you be able to help us with transportation? We've left everything last minute, including transportation, that we don't know how we're going to get to the wedding. We're, we're in a short bind. Of time, we're running we're out of time. Yeah. So you want some help with the transport to your wedding? Aside from a ride in the car, yeah, sure. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> I'll take you for a spin. Thank you. Oh my gosh, 
she's crazy. Because this couple couldn't make up their minds, they've now got to have a completely open mind where it comes to transportation. So they decided to run to the wedding. Just kidding. With only five days left, Jerry's got JC out doing a little dress training. You're along the right path. You just, you gotta stay consistent, right? We're trying. With JC's upcoming dress fitting, I've been really concerned. I've officially become JC's personal fitness wedding trainer. It's just annoying. You're already blowing hard. We haven't even started yet. Yeah. I find that um, she could be a lot more dedicated to it. So I'm staying on top of her. Baby, come on. Go. We haven't even begun yet. No, 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 no chase, no chase. Come on, up, let's go. I can fit in the dress, I can fit in the dress. <laughs> I will use her. You gonna invite him to the wedding? Yeah. Back at home, the healthy living continues. But Here, they babe. won't be serving grapefruit for dessert at the wedding. Thank you. Hopefully. Did you, did you call the cake lady? Not yet. Oh, I'll do it. I'll do it today. That's what you've been saying for the last couple of weeks. We're running out of time. I'll call. Did you call the drummer? Don't tell me nothing about the drummer, eh? Because you're the one who told me not to follow up with it. You're procrastinating on everything, and now you're getting me to do the same. We can't afford to be sitting on this any longer. Oh, for course. sure. Mm -hmm. OK. Jane has a promise to keep, too. She's still trying to find transportation for the wedding party. Good to see Where you again. You? Very nice to see you. Where's Hope you're the... not looking for a limo. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Where's he gone? That was the last one pulled out of the parking lot. Oh, no. I think I need to take this transport wish to a whole new level. While Jane works her magic, Jerry and JC find themselves in the middle of a culture clash. I'm boxing all of this black cake. This is a Trini tradition, and more than half of this is going to your family. I have a big family. If you want, I'll tell my family not to take any black cake, and your family can have two of them each. That's just being stupid. Like, my set is coming up short. But don't put it on me. If you want it with it regarding whatever contracts or anything or calling around, like, you can do it. What do you mean I can do it? This is frustrating the hell out of me. I can't wait for this to be over. But then why do you want to be involved in everything? Because I know how you are. You're going to come up with the decision. It's going to look so plain. I mean, look at this thing. Thing look like a funky Chia pet. These are the church decorations. <laughs> could you have done anything better? I could, well, whatever. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Jerry's no help, so JC's family has turned up to assist with the centerpieces. But she might be wishing they hadn't. What do you think of this? Ta da! The centerpiece. No. no. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's wrong with it? Mic check. Mic check. I know you can all talk into it. I'm not a detailed person, so I have things in pieces. I don't know how to put them together. Because you could do this. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Sorry. Fine. <laughs> JC and Jerry have got so much left to do. How are they going to do it in this time? They're running out of time. So I took it upon myself to call in and see where we're at. JC, you got busy there. Hello. Hi, Jane. I wasn't expecting you. The wedding's on Saturday, and you've got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. As you can see, the centerpieces are in the works. Yeah. Did you get a contract with the wedding cake? No. Have you got time to bake your own cake? I don't even know how to bake. What about your drummer? But haven't heard anything. And the videographer? Nothing. What have you been doing? I don't know. My intuition was right. They hadn't done half of what I'd asked them to do. I knew it. I need a contract for your wedding cake, your drummer, and your videographer, because at the moment, I don't know that they're showing up on the day. So can you please help with that? Do you want that to be a wish? At this point, yes. So that's cake, drummer, and videographer. Triple whammy. So Jane wastes no time and gets right to those whammies. Is it possible for us to meet, please? Because uh, I have a contract for you to sign regarding the cake. Steel pan drummer. I'd like to come and talk to you about a contract. This is the number of the videographer. It's a family member. It's great that family and friends want to help you out at the wedding, but that is too stressful. Actually, I've got a plan. I'd like to have a conversation with you, if I may, regarding the wedding. First stop, we're not sure where it is. Jane just follows the music. I go to all the nice places. Mark is a very, very elusive man to find. He took some real tracking down. Fantastic. You must be Mark. That's me. Well, I'm Jane. Hello, and I'm you? sorry to crash your rehearsal. Are you doing a wedding at this weekend? The there. details were, were very sketchy. 
This is why I've got a contract here all about the wedding. So we need you to show up at the reception. 5.30. 530. OK. We're good for that? That's good. Oh, right. that's good. Perfect. I need Official your autograph. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Signed, sealed. I'll definitely be there. Do you have time to jam with us for a minute? I've always got time All to right, jam. Love. Always. <laughs> We're jamming. We're jamming. This is the moves. Yay! High five. Luckily, that panned out. Nice oh. rhythm, Jane. Time now for Jane to arrange some more sweet deals. Hello. Hello, how are you? There's a wedding on Saturday, and I'm here to talk about the cake. Oh, great, because until you called, I didn't really know if it was going on for sure. Oh, yes, it's going on for sure. <laughs> but what do you know about the cake? What cake are you providing? Uh, I don't really know yet. I haven't even gotten a flavor decision. Fantastic. So how about to the good stuff, tasting cake? <laughs> don't think I've ever had red cake before. Mmm, very decadent. This is scrumptious. Oh, the sacrifices of a wedding planner. I like that one as well. I didn't schedule this on the diet today. I think with 25 children at this wedding, the chocolate is going to be a big hit. That will be a hit for sure. In fact, I'll have another piece. <laughs> There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> I want JC to be able to have her cake and eat it. Huh. Do you think Jerry agrees with that? Jay, what are you doing? Eating cake. What do you mean you're eating cake? I thought you were watching after your diet. You're supposed to be looking. You're trying to fit into your dress. Look how small this piece that is. It doesn't matter how thin the thing is. It's about it's fitting into the dress. It's my cousin's birthday cake. And I can't win with you, can I? The next day, Jerry, JC, and all the family meet at the church for the rehearsal. And then we'll go to promises and vows. Sorry, I missed that. Oh, yeah, you missed that. And Jane gets a chance to meet just a few of the kids she's promised to keep entertained at the wedding. <laughs> Put away your video games and your MP3 players. Jane is going old school to keep these kids occupied. I, Jerry, sorry, Gerard. Jerry or Gerard? Yeah. Gerard. Take you, Jacqueline, as my wife. He drew two pictures and I drew one picture of Jerry and That's lovely. Thank you. Kids are so creative and artistic. You just have to channel their energies. This has given me an idea. It looks like the maid of honor has an idea too. What are you doing? Can we go try on your dress now? She Can has I, a few uh, minutes to do it right now. Go and do it. Seriously, now, let's go. I did kind of go all out with different birthdays and parties, but I think I'm okay. Jerry will kill me if it doesn't fit, but I'm confident. Suck it in. Don't rip it. Oh, God. <laughs> Jerry and JC are trying to throw a big wedding, but they're lacking focus big time. You're procrastinating on everything, and now you're getting me to do the same. Jane arrived just in time to put some direction back into these lost wedding plans. One thing I'm sure of, they need my help. For which one, she was asked to bring in some entertainment for the kids. You just have to channel their energies. For which two, she had to find wheels for the wedding party. I need to take this wish to a whole new level. And for wish three, Jane had to trek all over town to lock down their vendor contracts. So that's drummer, cake, and videographer. Triple whammy. And with the wedding day finally here, a nervous bride arrives at the church. Just relax your shoulders. She's so tense. I know. That's what I was telling you. All I'm going to do now is go and line everybody up and speak to the pastor. So just have five minutes with your dad. Okay. Inside, Jerry and the masses wait patiently to see the bride and her dress. Thankfully, that gives Jane a little time to set up her camera because she's contracted herself to be the videographer. Good to go. And it's gorgeous. You look so beautiful. Join your right hands and declare your consent before God. I, Jacqueline, take you, Gerard, to be my husband. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Come back here. We were wondering who the videographer was going to be. When it turned out to be Jane, I always see her in front of the camera. It was a trip to watch her behind it. As 
promised, Dane took the transportation wish to another level. You can take the girl out of London, but you just can't take the London out of Jane. Dancers just topped it off, man. And they had it, they, what? They, they had on the costumes, the music was blaring, everything was, oh, it was It was good. amazing. Yeah. The wedding party continues to party. Jane heads to the reception hall to get back to business. Mark, you're here and early. I love it. Fantastic. Wow, what a transformation from building site to palace. The cake is here. Ah, oh, Jane. It looks fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. Good job. <laughs> thank Good you. job. Wonderful. Big jump. The band, amazing. So we had a cake and we had steel pan drummers, so Jane pulled that off, because I don't know if they would have showed if we had no contract. I knew I wanted this, I didn't know how to get there. It's exactly what I envisioned. And there's still the matter of wish number one. They're loud, they're impatient, and they're everywhere. Jane's about to earn her keep and keep these kids entertained. Children, if you'd like to come with me. Oh, we hold hands, okay? Any more children? What do you call this? This is a messy hands bus. And the first one. Move all the way down to the end. We are coloring this banner. It says, congratulations, JC and Jerry, everyone. This was a great wish. Jerry and JC wanted the children occupied. They're so occupied. They're being very creative. They're so delighted with this wish. And the parents are having a great time. We're really glad that we put in facets of both cultures into the wedding. With the steel drum, with the dancing. Both sides got to experience something from the other culture. Exactly. The banner, that, oh, yeah, yeah so that's got to go into the keepsake. Yeah, <laughs> so that was good. With love, from the children. <laughs> Wish granted? Yes, because no spiders. The day was amazing. I love you like the day is long. Just <laughs> Finish on a kiss. 